Okay, go for it. Okay, these screws are supposed to be not, not sticking out. They're supposed to be easily recessed inwards. Let me put the light on so you can see better. There okay. And uh, so, anyway, these are a little on the loose side, see? Huh. They're supposed to be a little bit tighter than this. Like, um, torqued in and tight? Like maybe uh, like that, but tighter. Yeah. So you see how that is recessed in and not recessed out? So what the... Is it holding that whole pin in then? That holds your motor together, yeah. That holds the uh, circuit breaker shaft and this is your idler shaft. Yeah, so... So when these things are loose, they rattle and eat up the case down in here. And that's not good. And they eat the case all up. So we I, found something else that needs to be fixed. Then I have to go in there and fix it when they're all screwed up. We found something else that needs to be fixed. And they make these in left hand and right hand thread. These are correct. These are standard thread because early motor. Late motors are the other way. Left handed threads? On the, late, on the late motor. How would you know to go left handed? Because I worked on one before. And you tried to go right handed and it wouldn't come out? No, I know. Oh. I worked on one before. I could read your book. Did you read your book? Oh. It's in my toolbox for it. You really haven't given me too many books to read. A whole bunch of books around here. Right? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Gently. I just, I just seen if it's tight. You see all that nice wear mark on your shaft and the bushing eating on it? That nice new shaft is already all torn to pieces. <sighs> this motor had a lack of oil at one point. I wonder if the pump was even working right. I don't know. That's something we'll have to check out. Case is really good. Case isn't screwed up, that's a plus. Well, except for the two screws we stripped, the high stripped. Yeah, we pull these out because they're... Well, we don't have to pull these out. Don't pull them out. We just have to put screws on them. I don't okay, know what that, else we got? I don't know how good the books can go on. But we're not rebuilding, remember? Yep. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, but somebody put a lot of parts in this thing. Just they didn't uh, tighten bolts up and use metric bolts in a lot of places. And, and uh, we don't know why all these screws broke down here, but they... Uh, when they put the super glue in. I don't know. Well, you want to crack the case now? It's up to you. It's your motor. <laughs> you missed that. You're like, you might as well take it apart the rest of the way now that we get this far. Rebuild it. I didn't think we were rebuilding it. So, well, it was supposed to be good, but it's got loose parts everywhere. Is that too loose? I mean, are we talking about just, are we going to redo the crank or what? Well, you probably should balance it. One, two, three holes, that's stock. Stock balancing job. Yeah, stock. Nah, what the hell, we'll take it apart. So much for just replacing a fender. The wrist pin bushings are pretty loose, so... We still gotta fix all this and do all that. So the more we take it apart, the easier it's putting the metal to fix all this. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, another, we can check the oil pump now, too. Another to 15 sure minutes, it'll be all apart. We can fix the pinion bushing here that looks like crap. The pin bushings up here that are loose. Fix these three holes here that are bad. All right, I'm on it. Shut and up. And then we, got, we can drain the two-quart oil out of it while we're at it. And we can be blast the case and make them look pretty again. Okay. But, you know, it's up to you. It's your motor. You're <laughs> so full of crap. <laughs> you knew this was going to happen. Well, we didn't take the cylinder apart yet, so we're still got borders. we still got this together. Oh, well, no, you're going to take that apart because we've got to get, fix the dang... Uh... No, you said you wanted to just glue it back together. Yeah, glue it back together. So that's what I want. We don't take it apart. We'll we'll somebody put them? front on this so they, they won't mix them up. A big F. Could be for Fred. That's it. Anything else? Of course not. I don't want to have something... We're going to pull the, cover, the, the pans off and look and make sure everything's good well, there, right? I, if we're going to take apart, we got to take apart. You said you want to take apart, so you got broken bolts and stripped out holes, but you know, it's up to you if you want to fix this stuff. It's your motor, not mine. So well, you cut that out. Me, I would strip it down and fix it, but you yeah, know, I'm going to I'm going to screw you. this. It's up to you. All right, whatever. Let me sit this thing back up on the tripod so I can start disassembling my motor. We well, have to get drain pan now. Hang on, we'll be back. Can just see inside of here. Yeah, we're gonna clean up over here. No? We left a mess over here. Clean up our mess over I, here. I cleaned this thing up ten minutes ago. No. You gonna do the pull the gear first? In the airline. Yes. Where's that gasket scraper? Go grab me a gasket scraper too while you're at it. Are you filming this? No. Oh, I just
just started a second ago. Oh, okay, good. Oop, the light was on. Yeah, the light was on. Why are you so close? You can't see anything. There you go. Until that was the case. Okay, so we gotta do, we gotta take the gear out of here first. We gotta access the snap ring. We gotta take the breather bolt out over here, get this out of the way on this side. And then we gotta take the oil pump out. That's the procedure. Okay, I need my zip then. And then you need this. Why don't you hold it damn thing instead of having my way? Huh? What are you talking about? Share one. Because I don't shake so much. All right, I'll just hold it. You shake a lot? You got shit you be drinking? No, I haven't drank anything. Maybe you should be drinking. I had a couple beers earlier, but... Maybe you should be drinking then. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got to make sure you spread your load out on the shaft and not just push this in here. you got to push this here and push this flat. Otherwise, you can tear up your into your shaft. <coughs> I make fancy tools for this, but... Grab the 916. You did. So that that yeah. doesn't work with a squat. Yeah, so we'll, uh, yeah, if I knew what it was. Hmm. Where is it? Yeah. You don't want to clean my tools. Put it right over another socket. Right there on there. Oh, yeah, now we can do this better. We weren't going to rebuild this engine, but it appears that uh, we are taking it, this is something that to parade rest. Why are you going to rebuild it now if you can find any problems with it? Only a few. Make everything we touch. Okay, so we got that out. There's a gear over there. Down there. Does it have a snap ring on it? No, it does Or has it got a clip on it? Oh, I, I don't see a snap ring. I see that means just a crappy clip style. Which means you gotta get a screwdriver in there, right? Which means it's gonna be really fun to get out. Need some screwdrivers. A mini one? Yeah, I need another mini one. Two minis. This so it's clip. Gnarly clip to get out. Well, it looks like pretty, got a pretty good picture there now. Let me get this out of the way. Can you get that out of the way? No, I'm holding it. Look up. I can see. Oh, I got it coming from a different angle. See the slot? See the slot. Take two screwdriver spread and push with one. And if you're lucky, it comes off. Oop. And we'll obviously put something better in, right? Should be hanging out the side. Oh, can you get it? Nope. Right again. Third time's a charm. Yeah, these two drivers are used, so it's hard to do. Really slightly used. Everything is used. Yep. Side of the same. Well, not using the shop side. Yeah, they, both look, they both look the same though. I think it probably ought to get some better screws. Oh, it keeps it getting close. Well, it's stretching every time I do it. Yeah, it'll be awesome. That's why I use a snap ring instead of these other ones. You can see it, it just come, almost comes out and it doesn't. And it pops back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, he gets it. And we have a winner. Oh, it took, what, 20 winner. times to get it? Yeah. That's why you, you use... Why are you throwing it in there? We ain't using that damn thing. You might want to use it again. You don't want to use that again? A snap ring. Give me the big screwdriver. Medium. There you go. Being a generator motor, this actually will come out. Hmm. 
It's made to be worked on, unlike a cone motor, which is not. Then you got your little. Uh oh. What? Drop some. It's in down there. there in the hole down there. In there. I'm saving it for you. Okay. Okay, now this can come off here. Oh, look at that. Huh. We can leave that out too if you want. This is my first uh, generator motor. We can update assemble. this stuff. We can update a lot of stuff by eliminating parts if you want. You don't really need that piece. Right. If you put a late shaft and a 55 style shaft, you can eliminate all this early crap and put late model parts. A lot better. We need an impact knocker. All right, hang on. Back in a minute. Back. Where's the regular? Okay, steel okay. hammer. I haven't seen the steel hammer. I don't know what you did with it. I don't think I ever brought it back. I don't know what happened to it. You didn't have a need for it? I don't have a need for a steel hammer oh. until just this minute. Oh, I, I need one all the time. You can't beat the crap out of stuff if you don't have a steel hammer. Oh, I didn't I didn't say I didn't. I said this is the first time. So I have what are you beating on there? What did you just do? I didn't see that. I, what? You your, missed that? Your hand was in the way. I couldn't see what you did. I used the impact. What kind of impact? A left-handed impact. That was a left-handed impact? Oh, right you got a right-handed one? I did a right-handed impact with a big screw that wouldn't strip uh, the screw well, Don't go away. You got, you got another one to do over here. Why is that big? What goes in there? What, that hole? Yeah. You mean that one way down there? You mean that thing that's, that's way down there? It's called a pressure relief valve? Oh, yeah. That's not supposed to be completely bottomed out to cut the flow of oil off to the motor? You mean, you mean that one? You mean that shouldn't be all the way down there? No, they're not supposed to be down all the way as far as down as they will physically go. They're only supposed to be like three-eighths of an inch in, not three-quarter. Hmm. Interesting. So we found something else wrong that needs to be addressed. What a shocker. Yeah, I'm take over I here. have never ever had a Harley motor that was not correct. <laughs> you don't believe in that? No. Uh, today. Did you say that you not never had today. a Harley that's, not correct today. that has been put assembled absolutely 100% as... It's not a spring tension. It's going to hit you in the eyeball. Ready? Uh, no, that was very. That wasn't very exciting. Uh, it didn't have much spring tension on it. Can I change, pull a chain order out? Yeah. So this might have been shut off, or it might have just been bottomed out and still leaking. Like I said, we don't know. That's one more thing we'll have to check. Well, we found that uh, when we originally pulled the tank out, we needed didn't need to. These were all loose too. The uh, everything's loose. Everything was loose. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and an oil leak. Ugh. Ooh, that is all. Do we need to do a bigger screw. Do we need to do a bigger yeah, go one. Get a, go get a different one of those bits because that is a special, custom-made screw slot. Look how wide that is. It's a wide blind. So grab the big one that takes a half-inch drive, and then go get the half-inch drive adapter. Half drive it goes over there, right next to where this came from. You can put this back too. And I know what happened to pliers. They're right here. Here, you can take these back too. You know, all this crap goes back. So if you keep putting crap away as you go, you don't have to keep tripping over it. Are you me that? I just told you that. You're telling me that? Yes. In the meantime, I'm going to keep working. Look at that heavily torqued nut there. That must have at least five foot pounds on it. See, that holds this breather on. Maybe it's got locked on it because it keeps turning over here. That means the dowel pin is not in the case that holds that. Probably more missing parts. Yeah, I don't see your half inch to three eighths to half inch of that. It should be right there. Alright, hold. Oh. 